Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slim Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to arrange and organize your storage if you have a solid state drive and a hard drive. So um, if we take a look at my drives right now, you're going to see that I have a solid state drive which only currently has my operating system and a normal hard drive which is going to be used for the storage. And the point of this video is that way you'll be able to program your computer to save the downloads such as documents, music, pictures, videos, your downloads and uh, another software into your hard drive instead of the solid state drive the reason why is that you just want to keep your solid state drive clean and clear from from like files such as pictures and the things that I mentioned above the only the only stuff that you actually want to keep in your solid state drive is programs that you actually want to run fast such as uh, Photoshop and Sony Vegas and a few other software out there that people wanted to run fast and uh, your main operating system. That's it. I don't think you're gonna want. Uh, I str strongly suggest you not to install uh, like browsers and like little programs that basically do anything or waste like any CPU power. So yeah. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your uh, your hard drive, which is gonna be the main storage. And right here, this is where you're gonna create two folders called Program Files, Program Files x86. What these folders are, these are where the main programs are going to be installed. Uh, program file, which is x86, that's 32-bit programs, and the other folder named program files is the 64-bit. So uh, just letting you know on that. And now we want to create um, folders for documents, pic music, pictures, videos, and downloads. So I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to create them. Now that we have our folders created right here, you, you could go uh, right here where it says documents and right here where it says includes two locations, this is where you want to click right here and you just want to remove both of these. And then we're going to go to add and we're going to browse for the new folders that we just created. So currently the folders are going to be in the hard drive and since we're doing documents right here as you can see, we're just going to select this one and include folder and click OK. So now all the stuff that you, if you have documents, is gonna be transferred directly into your um, into your main hard drive instead of your solid state drive. So we do that for each uh, individual um, category. So I'm gonna do it for music. Now, now that we created our documents, uh, pictures, music, and videos to set as default, that way it will be saved in the hard drive. These are good to go. So let's say, for example, oh, here's one key note to remember. So let's say you have uh, something in the desktop. Your desktop is in the main, uh, in the main hard drive, which is going to be in the solid state drive. So whatever's in the desktop is in the solid state drive. So if I move, um, if I, I have this uh, music file right here. So if I move it to my music. Uh, is going to be copied into my music, which is right here. But as you can notice, that um, it's still inside my desktop. Why? Because uh, they're two independent hard drives. So if you had one hard drive with one operating system where everything's all cluttered up together, this would disappear and it will be right here. But right now it doesn't. So it's duplicated. The files are going to be duplicated whenever you move them from the desktop to to uh, the folders. They're going to be duplicated. So technically you have two files, two of the same files. So you could actually go into the recycling bin and delete that if you want to. And yeah. So uh, here's a perfect example on how to um, on how to uh, install a program in one of the um, in one of the hard drives. So I'm just going to click Run. This is um, Firefox. So yeah. I'm just gonna click yes, and right here, um, I'm just gonna go into options, and right here where it says the destination folder, this is where exactly where you're gonna um, install the the program. So, for example, if uh, if I want my Mozilla Firefox to be installed on my main hard drive, which is the solid state drive, as you can see right here. I would just leave it in the C folder, but since this is not a program that I wanted to run fast because it already runs fast enough, I'm just going to click browse and I'm going to go right here in the computer, I'm going to go into the hard drive and I'm going to install it in the program files x86 and I'm just going to click OK and I'm just going to install it. So now it's going to be installed in the normal hard drive which is going to be the storage, it's not going to be installed in the solid state drive.
and now we're gonna just gonna set up the Mozilla Firefox downloads and my browser downloads that way it will be saved on the on the storage hard drive so right now as you can see I'm running Mozilla Firefox I'm just gonna go to uh, menu bar uh, we're gonna be going into tools and we're gonna go in, going into options and right here where it says uh, download save files to downloads you just wanna click browse and again you just wanna look for the folder um, where your storage hard drive is which is the one that we created which is gonna be browser downloads so I'm just gonna click that and I'm gonna click select the folder and I'm gonna click OK so now whatever you download on on the on Firefox is gonna be directly saved into the into the Firefox downloads folder that we created in the storage hard drive so uh, I'm just gonna download uh, let's say for example uTorrent so now if we click on this folder open containing folder uh, we're gonna see that it's uh, saved into the hard drive storage D in, into the storage hard drive browser download so it's right here but the thing that that you're not gonna see is that when you when you go to downloads it's not gonna be there so we're gonna be so we're gonna be doing some some modifications to that so uh, I'm just gonna click on properties and I'm gonna go into uh, general I'm gonna go into advanced oh I'm sorry guys I'm going to uh, shortcut and right here where it says um, the target this is where, gonna, where you're gonna change it into uh, the file path that we created so uh, the file path is gonna be drive D so where it says where the C is we're gonna put D because that's where, that's where the hard drive is and it's gonna be a browser download so we could just type we could remove all this and type browser downloads and as you can see the search is already uh, detecting it and I'm just gonna click OK so now when you click on downloads my uTorrent is gonna show up there so let's give it another try let's, let's download another software now I'm just gonna go into start and I'm gonna go into my computer and I'm gonna click downloads and as you can see uh, there's the download file and uh, that's basically it guys uh, thank you for watching this video I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a long time uh, but this is a, a, a this is a perfect uh, Windows tutorial for people who whoever wants to go into solid state drives and installing their main operating system there and um, and just having a normal hard drive for the storage I'm sorry if this was pretty confusing on me saying uh, normal hard drive and solid state drive I'm sorry about that but yeah well, uh, thank you for watching this video, guys. Thanks for all the love and the support. Please like this video if it helped you in any way at all. And yeah, stay tuned for more um, PC tutorials. I cannot wait till Windows 10 comes out, show you how to downgrade all that stuff. And recently, I got a PS4, so uh, I'll be able to do, uh, do some PS4 tutorials on that if I could. Uh, if I could do anything with the PS4 as of now. But yeah, so uh, again, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more uh, PC tutorials, PS4 tutorials, any tutorials out there that are going to help you a lot. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.